I'm Annette Azalton, a Program Director at Results for Development, R4D, and I'm pleased to present the findings from the campaign financing landscape analysis that we conducted for the Health Campaign Effectiveness Coalition. The leadership team of the coalition prioritized this analysis with the aim of identifying practical actions to address financial barriers and disincentives for cross-campaign collaboration and integration with routine primary health care delivery. And given that the coalition's leadership includes representation from the immunization, polio, malaria, NTD, and nutrition communities, we at R4D found this to be a unique opportunity. And in, in addition to shining a light on the financial barriers and disincentives, we surfaced opportunities and practical actions to overcome these challenges and to strengthen collaboration among partners and health programs and increase integrated approaches. Let me start with some backgrounds. Over the last 25 years, there's been a growth of disease specific financing. And you'll see with the establishment of the Global Polio Eradication Initiative and the recent establishment of COVAX. And this has really driven a prolif proliferation of standalone campaigns with little coordination between health programs, vertical programs. But recently there's been a growing interest in integration or mainstreaming, which is being touted as important for all the health programs we're discussing today that proudly emphasize integration in their global strategy and guidelines. So amidst this growing interest and momentum, it's important to understand what is preventing integration or what is preventing coordination from happening? If global strategy supports it, why isn't there more integration? What is going on in the enabling environment? So that's what we set out to do for this financing landscape analysis. Not to restructure the global aid and financing architecture, not to solve for sustainability and financing, to interrogate if integration is good or bad, or to debate the benefits or ills of campaigns, but we set out to identify the financial barriers, bottlenecks, and bureaucratic obstacles to integration or coordination. To identify the disincentives at the global and country level that hinder integration of different campaign components or functions, or hinder co-delivery of interventions. And to identify opportunities to overcome these barriers, to address the disincentives, and strengthen collaboration and integration. This was a rapid qualitative exercise, so you won't see any numbers. There are no cost effectiveness, effectiveness estimates. I'm not presenting funding flows. But over a two year period in two, 2022, we conducted 51 semi-structured interviews with key informants representing funding institutions, implementing partners and country programs, all re representing the five disease specific domains, the broader, um, and broader health systems and health financing perspectives as well. And we complemented these interviews with a limited review of global strategy and guidance documents. As we present the findings, please keep in mind that we prioritized understanding the barriers and disincentives in settings with many externally financed campaigns, more donor-driven settings. Mm -hmm. 